Welcome back. Guys, in this video, you will learn how you can integrate two incredibly useful tools for your business. One is Go High Level and another is Square. Guys, Go High Level is a sales and marketing management tool and Square is a financial service software. So you can use these tools to enhance your business. And here I'm going to show you how you can integrate these two in such a way that if you're going to get an appointment, via a form submission that you have created using go high level the person who have booked an appointment will be added inside squares database automatically saving your time and manual efforts so that you can focus on your actual business and we are going to set up this whole automation without any coding so let's get started to set up the workflow of automation we are using pably connect which is an integration and automation tool and to reach this page guys you can use the link i have pasted in the description and from here you will be signing up for free and you will get free automation tasks every month to test and set up your automations so guys sign up right now from the given link and after that you can sign in to reach the dashboard of pably connect from here guys you can click on this create workflow button here you can provide a suitable name to your workflow so let me give a name here so here I have given this name. Okay, now you can click on this create button and you can see the workflow page is loading up here. And on this page, guys, you will find the basic building blocks of this automation, which is the trigger and the actions. So guys, trigger is that event which is going to start this workflow and the actions are the automated responses of the trigger. In our use case, guys, getting an appointment in high level form is going to trigger this workflow and the action would be to create a customer in square application okay so when you click on this trigger window here it will ask you to choose the trigger application so here you have to search for high level or uh, here you are you are going to find high level application with the name lead connector okay so lead connector is high level only select this lead connector v2 option okay and here you have to select the trigger event as new form submitted here this one form submitted okay and it will give you this webhook url so on this url guys you can get the data from high level application to here in this workflow so here you need to uh, start following these instructions to add this url inside high level application and after that you can perform a test submission to get the data from high level so let's follow these instructions this is my high level applications form builder page and this is the appointment form i have created let me go back here so guys this is a high level applications dashboard and here on the left hand side panel you can see this automation option click on it under automation section you will find this workflows tab under workflows click on this create workflow button okay and uh, here it will ask you to uh, pick a template from here select this start from scratch option click on continue and a uh, scratch canvas will be up appearing here like this a blank canvas from here you have to click on this add new workflow trigger option and here it will show you these options available as the trigger to send the data from go high level to any external application so from here you have to search for form submitted option so here you can see we have this form submitted option selected here you can give the trigger name and then click on save trigger so this is uh, this is this will be triggering the flow of data from high level and the action would be just click on this add your first action and here you have to search for web hook option select web hook and here you have to select the method as as post because we want to send the data from high level to our workflow and now you have to copy this web hook url that you got in your workflows trigger and you have to paste it here under this url field like this and then click on save action so our workflow is completed here and just toggle this draft option and set it to publish then click on save okay so the workflow is saved now go back and open the form that you have created for uh, getting the appointment so under the site section you will find the forms option let me open the form section here is the appointment form I have created and here you can see guys 
As I have copied the webhook URL here in the trigger, it started showing waiting for the response of this connection that you have created with high level. Now you can perform a test submission. Test submission means now I'm going to open the preview of this form here and I'm going to fill in the form with some test details. So here I'm going to give the name of the person who's filling the form as test only. The last name is user. Here you can provide any dummy phone number like this. Okay, here you can provide a test email address. And the address, city details, state, country, postal code. Okay, and you can agree on terms and conditions. Now click on submit and you can see the form. Uh, there is an issue, the phone number isn't valid. All right, and here you can see the form is, uh, is submitted here. Okay, now let's check in our uh, trigger. Here you can see we have received the data. And in this data, you can see we have received the name of the person, test user. This was the address. This was the first name, the email address, the creation date, the country code, and the source. Everything got captured here. Okay, so we have received the data. Now when you are going to receive this data, you want to create a customer in square application. So search for square in this action window, select it and then select the action event here as create customer. Now click on this connect option. From here select add new connection and here it will ask you to provide the API token key of square application. So guys, you are going to get this key from the developers dashboard of square. So by clicking on this developer dashboard link, you can reach that page. Okay. So for this, you need to log in in Square also. So I have already logged in. So I have redirected directly here on the developers application. And under the applications section, you have to create an application by clicking on this plus icon. I have already created these. So from here, you can open any application. And under the applications page, just open this production section. And under the production section, you will find this product access token. So you can open this token, copy this token and paste it here like this and then click on save and you will be connected with square in a moment. So we are now connected guys and here started asking for the first name, last name, email address and all these data to create a customer in square. So we are going to use this test data I have received here in the triggers in the trigger section. Okay, so this is the data I have received the test user is the name. So guys, I'm going to map the labels I have received here inside these fields. So to map the data, you just have to click on this field and the previous trigger will appear here in the drop down. And when you click on it, you will find the data right here. So from here only just map this first name label by clicking on it to map the first name. Similarly, find out the last name label and map it and the email address. Map it like this phone number. Similarly, you can map the address. All right, so this is how you map the data and uh, just require just map the required data that you have all things are not compulsory so you can leave some fields blank as well if you do not have the data and after that you can test your connection with square by clicking on save and send test request button and a new customer will be created here under the customer section this is my squares customer section so i'm going to click on save and send test request button and let's see what happens so guys this is the response i have received okay now we can check in our customers uh, database here in square let me just refresh the customer section and here you can see the data appears here and in the last you can see i have received a new person added here with the name test user and all the data is same here you can see uh, the address is same the city is same the country is same the number is same this is how it is going to work so uh, we got a new uh, person created here and our connection is working fine.
and you have to set up this automation only once we are done here and you have to set up this only once after that it is going to trigger automatically whenever you are going to get a new appointment via form submission this is going to trigger the workflow and the customer will be created automatically and i'm going to paste the link of this workflow in the description so that you can clone this workflow in your own free Pabli Connect account and start using this automation instantly. Guys, thank you so much for watching our video and please, please let us know how our automation ideas are helping you in the comment section. And if you have any queries related to this application, please ask your queries from this forum link and do check the pricing of this application from this link. And guys, we are open to ideas. If you want us that we should make videos on other aspects of your business, please do let us know in the comment section. And if you like our work, please subscribe to our channel.